Hey guys, in this video, we'll go over eight little known techniques for dealing with anxiety. We have many reasons to worry and a certain amount of worrying can be helpful as it directs our attention to issues that need to be managed. However, when worry leads to constant anxiety, things have gone too far to be helpful. We've all heard that we should breathe deeply when feeling anxious, but there are other possible solutions you may have never considered. Try these ideas to deal with anxiety in a way that works for you. And the first is cold showers. When you're anxious, your mind is racing and focused on negative thoughts. One quick way to return your mind to reality is to take a cold shower. It can take your breath away, but certainly brings your mind back to the present quickly. Number two is hold ice in your mouth. This has a similar effect to taking a cold shower. In addition, breathing in that cold air that has passed over the ice is soothing to many people. Number three is pretend you're someone that handles stress and anxiety with ease. Pick someone you know that exudes calm. Imagine being in their body. What would you feel? What thoughts would you notice? How do you think they would view and approach the situation causing you to feel anxious? Maybe you'll discover something you can use. Number four is imagine yourself in a peaceful setting. What would be the most relaxing scenario for you? Would it be the mountains? The beach? A field of flowers? Who else would be there? What would they say? What would you smell and hear? What would the weather be like? Experience it fully. Number five is do something that takes your full attention. Whether doing a crossword puzzle, playing chess, or doing some gardening, anything that fully occupies your attention for a while will give your mind a break from whatever bothers you. Number six is schedule worry time. Instead of worrying throughout the day, why not schedule some worry time? You can worry all you want for 30 minutes, but you can't worry the other 23 and a half hours of the day. Knowing that you can worry later will ease your mind and allow you to accomplish more. How much time do you need to worry? Would worrying for an hour accomplish more than 30 minutes? Maybe 15 minutes is enough. Number seven is go to bed earlier and get up earlier. Going to bed early will allow you to get more sleep. Getting up early will let you start your day with less rushing around. Try going to bed an hour earlier and getting up 15 minutes earlier. The extra 45 minutes of sleep will do your mind and body some good. The extra 15 minutes of the morning will make your morning more relaxing. Number eight is go camping or get out of town. Sleeping on the ground or in a different bed and new surroundings can significantly change your perspective and mood. If you need a change of pace, give yourself one. A weekend can do wonders. Where could you spend a weekend that would drastically change your everyday environment? Anxiety can take all the joy out of your life. When you're constantly worrying, it's challenging to find any enjoyment. Just as creating a feeling of anxiety is a skill, you can also develop the skill of calming yourself. Consider anxiety-reducing ideas that seem unusual. There's no telling what will work for you until you try.